Okay, our work today is going to rely a little bit on the equal values method. You may remember this from chapter four. The equal values method. And what this method tells us is that if we have two equations and they're both in standard form, remember from our previous note, standard form is y equals mx plus b form, if we have two equations, we'll be able to use this method to solve them for two, two variable equations. We'll be able to use this method to solve them for both variables. So let's say one of my equations is y equals negative 2x plus 5. Let's say our other equation is y equals x minus 1. Okay. We're assuming that these, in, in both of these variables, we're talking about the same x and the same y. They're standing in for the same situation. Say, uh, x is standing in for the number of years old you are and y is standing in for your height or something. But in any case, we're assuming that these two y's represent the same y, which means anything that's equal to that y is also equal to the other thing. Right? I could write it out like this. I could say, well, negative 2x plus 5 is equal to y, and y is equal to x minus 1. And since this sentence says all three of these things are equal, I can kind of eliminate that middleman and write it. Negative 2x plus 5 equals x minus 1. Hopefully this is looking a little bit familiar. So once we have our... our equations in y equals mx plus b form, once we've set them sort of equal to each other, we can very easily simplify to solve for x. So in this case, I think I'm going to uh, add 1 to both sides. Negative 2x plus 6 equals x. Now maybe I'll add 2x to both sides. I'll end up with 6 equals 3x. Then I can divide both sides by 3, and I can get 2 equals x but I'm not done. Remember what we talked about. The solution to a system of equations is a point, a point where these two lines will cross. That means we need to find both the x value, which in this case we found was two, and the y value, and we haven't found that y value yet. To find the y value, what we need to do is we need to take our x and substitute it into one of our original equations to find out what y would be. So I'm gonna just pick the top equation so I know my top equation was y equals negative 2x plus 5. And I'm just going to take that x and plug it in for that x. So I'll rewrite this. y equals negative 2 times 2 plus 5. And when I start to simplify this, y ends up equaling negative 4 plus 5. y equals 1. So I'm pretty sure that that y goes here. But I have to check and make sure that this point fits both of my equations. So I'm going to check by using the other equation. So my other equation said that y equals x minus 1. And so if I were to substitute my x in for my x and my y in for my y, I should get equal values on both sides of my equation. So I should be able to get that 1, substituting that 1 in, equals 2, substituting that 2 in, minus 1. When I simplify, 1 does equal 1. So that means this x and y value make this equation true. And they make this equation true too. So this is the equal values method. However, what we're going to interact with today are some situations where our equations aren't necessarily going to end up in this format. So what we're going to want to, what we're going to, want to think about is how we can get them into this format so that we can apply this method. All right, make sure your notes are complete and we'll start on the classwork on the inside page.